right, if you've ever been injured, foot injury, leg injury, you know you so. But now, if you're injured, there is a way around hands-free. iWalk founder Brad Hunter is here with Dr. Human Melamed and Anthony Jennings. Uh, and this new program, this new technique uh, that you've come up with to help vets, and you're actually giving these away. We are. You know, the iWalk crutch, it's not expensive. It's only $149. But even then, there's a lot of people that can't afford that. So we have outreach programs for benefits veterans, landmine victims, impoverished nations, all kinds of different people that need mobility. All right, so Anthony is actually modeling this for us, and you're an amputee. Yeah. You, you said you just got fitted with this yesterday. I've got a foot injury. I tried crutches for one day and gave them up. A lot of us walk around now with our cell phone. You can't yeah. carry a cell phone. You can't carry anything when you're on crutches. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's incredibly mobile, and it only took us a few minutes to get fit and, and to start walking around just right off the bat. So it feels pretty natural. It's very natural. And, and so some of the dynamics is I'm an amputee, so normally I would wear a prosthetic, but mm -hmm. if my prosthetic's in the shop or if there's any type of an issue with my leg, um, it's really effective to be able to have something where I can still be hands-free and keep mobility. Um, and really just cruise through the rest of the day uh, pain-free and really hassle-free. And, and you mentioned the pain factor. Uh, doctor, this isn't just about getting around easier. I know uh, from my own experience that your muscles start to get at them as much when you're walking around on crutches. That's correct. You know, I mean, I can tell you just from working out and not, let's say for about a week, you start losing tone, and after mm -hmm. a week, you really start, muscle starts like uh, atrophying. If you talk to the bodybuilders, they'll, they'll tell you that. And this is really, um, you know, I wish I would have known about it when I had my, <laughs> uh, ankle injuries because <laughs> right. I've been on crutches a few times in my life after sporting injuries I've had foot I had a foot fracture ankle fractures I wish I would have had this and I actually tried it on and I'm like wow this is this is really good because it really it's really engaging your quadriceps and quadriceps is an extremely critical muscle for uh, moving so it's it's very very beneficial and Brad let's face it uh, crutches are pretty outdated right they've been <laughs> around for thousands of years and they really haven't changed that much maybe a little padding here and there they, they really haven't and uh, Crutches, they're so limiting, unless you've been on them, which you have. Yeah. You don't know how bad they are, but then when you're on them, you realize, I can't do anything. I can't walk my dog. I can't carry a cup of coffee or my phone. You can't push a shopping cart. With this, you get it all back, and as you told him, it takes about five minutes to learn it, maybe a little longer for some, but it's actually very intuitive. Mm -hmm. Why would you use arm crutches when a leg crutch works so much better? You wouldn't. And I think this idea really took off when we, we saw pictures of actor Harrison Ford after his accident. <laughs> And he, he was actually using something like this. Yeah, he, he did. He's a really progressive guy. He mm -hmm. was injured, and we can't make this up, when filming the Star Wars movie in London. And he found up, out about it, called us up at 3 in the morning, and said, I want one. <laughs> we fit him over the phone. He's 72 years old. He was up and walking that same day. And Anthony, I see that you're getting around pretty good. Really, how how's it changed your feeling about getting around and, and just about life? Uh, I think there's just a safety net that's just much bigger now uh, versus really the realities of being an amputee if there's a problem if your prosthetic goes in the shop or something breaks or or god forbid you lose another one like mm -hmm. your mobility really it uh it goes downhill and so to have a safety net so big so comfortable uh, so well thought out and so cost effective versus the cost of a prosthetic or some sort of a fix is just really just astronomically helpful all right brad uh, we mentioned that this is going to be a free service to military veterans how do they get the information on that well there's different ways on our website we have a page dedicated to charities um, so people can donate their used iWalks. We also make our own donations, and they can choose the charity that they want to donate to or to get it from. So there's multiple ways to get the outreach. One thing that I should stress is this was actually wasn't originally intended for amputees. It turns out mm -hmm. it's a game changer for them. But anybody with an ankle injury or lower leg injury, for example, yourself, mm -hmm. you, know, you would benefit from that. So whether it's a sprained ankle or an Achilles tendon rupture or a below knee amputation, it's useful for all of these conditions. All right. Thank you, gentlemen, for being here. And uh, we have all the information about this I Walk on our website. You can get the link right there. It's kcalnine.com. Just click Scene on TV.